Hello farm owners, agripreneurs and farm lovers. Welcome back to your favorite agricultural and agribusiness YouTube channel. In case you are watching for the first time, my name is Lawa Lusha Lawa and this channel is dedicated to promote sustainable and profitable agriculture. On today's episode, we have a very, very important topic at hand to discuss. It's about something that affects farmers that affect the environment and that affect the consumer of farm products. It affects everybody. So um, it's something that is tied to life and we'll be talking about it anyway. Uh, we'll be looking at the safe handling of agricultural chemicals, the safe handling and the safe use of agricultural chemicals. So uh, first and foremost, what are agricultural chemicals? Agricultural chemicals are toxic materials. They are harmful materials. They are poisonous materials. Uh, they are poisonous chemicals we use in our farming activity. They are indispensable. We cannot do without them. Because of the intensive nature of agriculture we are using present. And agricultural chemicals can be in the form of insecticide. They can be in the form of herbicide, they can be in the form of fungicide, they can be in the form of nematicide. You just name it. Any chemicals that is being used in the agricultural space are being regarded as, as, are being regarded as agricultural chemicals. So we, we use them in several ways. In several ways, they, we use them in, as to control pests as insecticide, pesticide. We use them in controlling weed as herbicide we use them in controlling fungi as fungicide we use them in controlling uh, rodents in the store as rodenticides so we have a whole lot of them i can go on and on uh, but the use of these chemicals is not the problem but the abuse the inappropriate use of these chemicals the inappropriate handling and the use of these chemicals is the problem and whenever you mis misuse or mishandle these chemicals they tend to have a negative impact on the environment they tend to have the, a negative impact on the farmers who handle them or who use them they also have a far-reaching negative impact on the consumer that are going to be consuming the food uh, the final product of the farming activity so how does it affect farmers? It affects farmers in the sense of, in the sense that whenever most of our farmers, particularly in Nigeria, are using or handling these chemicals, they don't use their protective. And like I said earlier, these are poisonous material. These are toxic material. And whenever you get exposed to these chemicals, they tend to be absorbed into the bloodstream whenever you are using your spraying chemicals and you are not wearing your coverall you are when they find their way on your skin they find their way into your body system and when they find your their way into the body system then there is something we call accumulation toxic accumulation you might be thinking uh, it's just a small small quantity falling on your skin here and there. When all these particles, when all these chemicals find their way into your body system, they are not digestible. They are chemicals. They are toxic materials. They are not digestible. They find their way into your body system and your body system will not be able to digest them. And this leads to what we call accumulation. When you have accumulation of all these chemicals, of all these chemical substances in your system, it leads to cancer. It leads to different uh, medical condition, health condition that can be life threatening. That is that on the part of the farmer. You expose yourself to, to danger, to earth risk. If you are using all these chemicals inappropriately and by not protecting yourself by not wearing your coverall, your nose guard, your your glove and your farm boot, everything you need to put all this thing into consideration. 
Another thing is that it have effect impact on the environment, negative impact, especially when you use it indiscriminately, when you use more than the prescribed amount, when you use it at the wrong time, when you use chemical at the wrong time, maybe after using it, it's it, it rained after you use it and excess of it are being washed into the waterways. It causes pollution, it kills aquatic animal and it causes underground water and surface water poisoning. This is the way it affects the environment. And lastly but not the least, whenever you use chemical, especially pesticide on your farm, especially on your fruiting crop and you use it indiscriminately and you don't wait, you didn't wait for the withdrawal period, you take those commodities to the farm like that. What you are actually doing is that you are giving your consumer, you are giving people a little bit of the portion of the chemical you sprayed on your farm, you sprayed on your crop, you are giving it to them to heat. And that is why it has a negative impact on the consumer. So before I go, let's just look at it holistically. Whenever you are using any chemical, any agricultural chemical, please and please read the label. The first thing is to read the label because on the label you will know how to protect yourself from those chemicals. From the label you will know the dosage so that you will not be using too much or too less. From the label you will be, you will be able to know the active ingredient. You will be able to know the first aid if in case uh, somebody or you f you, somebody around you uh, take this kind of chemical. You will also be able to know how to protect yourself. So that's the first thing you must do. Always read your label. After reading your label, make sure you protect yourself. Wear your cover roll, wear your glove, wear your nose mask, wear your goggle, and wear your fan boot. Don't give a room for any chemical to patch on your skin. The skin is the largest organ in the body and when anything liquid falls on it, it tends to absorb them into the body screen, uh, into the bloodstream and this will cause a whole lot of problem in the future. Another thing is that don't use chemicals indiscriminately. Don't spray your farm whenever there is imminent rain and also make sure you follow the withdrawal period. For example, when you spray a fruiting crop, you are expected to wait for like 14 to 21 days before you can harvest those crops to sell. The essence of this is that it will give a whole lot of time for the chemicals to be washed away to a very, very barest minimum. So we need you farmers to protect yourself for you to produce more food for us. We also need you farmers to help us protect our environment because without a good environment, there will not be agriculture in the first place. We also need you farmers to protect the consumer. They are the one buying your product. Do the best thing, do the right thing at the right time. With this, I've come to the end of today's topic and I hope you got value one way or the other from this. And if you actually got value from this topic, kindly give it a like share with your friends and drop your comment in the comment section thank you for your time and see you on my next video Shishi.